Good morning, everybody. You're welcome to Bible study. This is, I believe, Bible Fellowship. We're in Houston, Texas, and we're a whole bunch of believers who love the Lord unashamedly and unreservedly. We study the scriptures. Bible says line upon line, precept upon precept, because we believe no one buys a book and jumps about the chapters or the paragraphs or the sentences in it, but you read it from start to finish. That way you're able to understand the contents of the book and hopefully the mind of the author. And since we've been doing that, God has been faithful. He's taught us. We've sank roots deep in him. And we're yielding fruit, evidential fruit. We see it. Our prayers are answered, some in record time, uh, some miraculously. He's just blowing our minds. And we just appreciate the Lord Jesus and love him for that. Uh, we are in the second go-round in this fellowship of studying the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. We let scripture interpret scripture. We don't read books and come to regurgitate. The truth is in the word and the spirit of truth is with us. And Jesus, who is truth, is also with us. So he teaches us by his spirit. We are in the book of First Chronicles. We left off before we went on our mission trip at chapter 5. So we're going to pick it up from chapter 6. If we're able to do a couple of chapters, that would be great. Otherwise, we'll just do six and hang it for the morning. First Chronicles 6. The sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. The sons of Kohath, Amram, Isaiah, and Hebron, and Uziel. The children of Amram, Aaron, and Moses, and Miriam. The sons also of Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamah. Eleazar begat Phinehas, Phinehas begat Abishua. Abishua begat Buki, and Buki begat Yutzi. Yutzi begat Zerahiah, and Zerahiah begat Merayoth. Merayoth begat Amariah, and Amariah begat Ahitab. Ahitab begat Zadok, and Zadok begat Ahimaaz. And Ahimaaz begat Azariah, and Azariah begat Johanan. And Johanan begat Azariah. He it is that executed the priest's office in the temple, that Solomon built in Jerusalem. And Azariah begat Amariah, and Amariah begat Ahitab. And Ahitab begat Zadok, and Zadok begat Shalom. Shalom begat Hilkiah, and Hilkiah begat Azariah. Azariah begat Seraiah, and Seraiah begat Jehozadak. And Jehozadak went into captivity when the Lord carried away Judah and Jerusalem by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar. The sons of Levi, Gershom, Kohath, and Merari, and these be the names of the sons of Gershom. Libni and Shimei, the sons of Kohath were Amram, and Ezar, and Hebron, and Uziel. The sons of Merari, Mali, and Mushi, and they are the families of the Levites according to their fathers. Of Gershom, Libni, his son Jehath, his son Zima, his son Joah, his son Ido, his son Zira, his son Jeterai, his son, the sons of Kohath, Aminadab, his son, Korah, his son, Asir, his son, Elkanah, his son, Abisaph, his son, Asir, his son, Tahath, his son, Uriel, his son, Uzziah, his son, and Shaul, his son, and the sons of Elkanah, Amasai and Ahimoth. As for Elkanah, the sons of Elkanah, Zophai, his son, and Nahath, his son, Eliab, his son, Jeroham, his son, Elkanah, his son, and the sons of Samuel, the firstborn, Vashnai and Abia, the sons of Merahi, Mali, Libni, his son, Shimei, his son, Yuza, his son, Shimei, his son, Hagia, his son, Asiah, his son. And these are they whom David said about the service of song in the house of the Lord after that the ark had rest. And they ministered before the dwelling place of the tabernacle of the congregation with singing until Solomon had built the house of the Lord in Jerusalem. And then they waited on their office according to their order. And these are they that waited with their children. Of the sons of the Kohathites, Heman, a singer, the son of Joel, the son of Shemuel, 
the son of Elkanah, the son of Jehoram, Jeroham, the son of Eliel, the son of Toa, the son of Zuf, the son of Elkanah, the son of Mehath, the son of Amasai, the son of Elkanah, the son of Joel, the son of Azariah, the son of Zephaniah, the son of Tahath, the son of Asir, the son of Ebi Asaph, the son of Korah, the son of Isa, the son of Kohath, the son of Levi, the son of Israel. And his brother Asaph, who stood on his right hand, even Asaph, the son of Berechiah, the son of Shimea, the son of Michael, the son of Baaseah, the son of Malchiah, the son of Ethni, the son of Zerah, and the son of Adiah, the son of Ethan, the son of Zima, the son of Shimei, the son of Jehath, the son of Gershom, the son of Levi, and their brethren, the sons of Merari, stood on the left hand, Ethan, the son of Kishi, the son of Abdi, the son of Maluk, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Amaziah, the son of Ehokiah, the son of Amzai, the son of Bani, the son of Shama, the son of Mali, the son of Mushi, the son of Merari, the son of Levi. Their brethren also, the Levites, were appointed unto all manner of service of the tabernacle of the house of God. But Aaron and his sons offered upon the altar of the burnt offering and on the altar of incense and were appointed for all the work of the place most holy and to make an atonement for Israel according to all that Moses, the servant of God, had commanded. And these are the sons of Aaron, Eleazar his son, Phinehas his son, Abishua his son, Buki his son, Yutzi his son, Zerahiah his son, Meraioth his son, Amariah his son, Ahitab his son, Zedok his son, Ahimaaz his son. Now these are their dwelling places throughout their castles in their coasts of the sons of Aaron and of the families of the Kohathites, for theirs was the lot. And they gave them Hebron in the land of Judah and the suburbs thereof round about it. But the fields of the city and the villages thereof they gave to Caleb the son of Jephunneh. And to the sons of Aaron they gave the cities of Judah, namely Hebron, the city of refuge and Libna with her suburbs, and Jatir, and Eshtemoa with, with their suburbs, and Helen with her suburbs, Debir with her suburbs, and Ashan with her suburbs, and Beth Shemesh with her suburbs, and out of the tribe of Benjamin, Geba with her suburbs, and Alameth with her suburbs, and Anatoth with her suburbs. All their cities throughout their families were 13 cities. And unto the sons of Kohath, which were left of the family of that tribe, were cities given out of the half-tribe, namely out of the half-tribe of Manasseh, by lot, ten cities. And to the sons of Gershom, throughout their families, out of the tribe of Issachar, and out of the tribe of Asher, and out of the tribe of Naphtali, and out of the tribe of Manasseh, in Bashan, thirteen cities. Unto the sons of Merari were given by lot, throughout their families, out of the tribe of Reuben, and out of the tribe of Gad, and out of the tribe of Zebulon, twelve cities. And the children of Israel gave to the Levites these cities with their suburbs. And they gave by lot out of the tribe of the children of Judah, and out of the tribe of the children of Simeon, and out of the tribe of the children of Benjamin, these cities which are called by their names. And the residue of the families of the sons of Kohath had cities of their coasts, out of the tribe of Ephraim. And they gave unto them of the cities of refuge, Shechem in Mount Ephraim with her suburbs. They gave unto Giza with her suburbs. They gave also Giza with her suburbs, and Jokmiam with her suburbs, and Beth Horon with her suburbs, and Aijalon with her suburbs, and Gath Rimon with her suburbs, and out of the half tribe of Manasseh, Ana with her suburbs, and Biliam with her suburbs, for the family of the remnant of the sons of Kohath. Unto the sons of Gershom were given out of the family of the half-tribe of Manasseh, Golan in Bashan with her suburbs, and Ashtaroth with her suburbs. And out of the tribe of Issachar, Kadesh with her suburbs, Dabirath with her suburbs, 
and Ramoth with her suburbs, and Anem with her suburbs. And out of the tribe of Asher, Mashal with her suburbs, and Abdon with her suburbs, and Hukok with her suburbs, and Rehob with her suburbs. And out of the tribe of Naphtali, Kedesh in Galilee with her suburbs, and Haman with her suburbs, and Kirjath Taim with her suburbs. Out of the rest of the children of Merari were given out of the tribe of Zebulon, Rimon with her suburbs, Tabor with her suburbs. And on the other side, Jordan by Jericho, on the east side of Jordan, were given them out of the tribe of Reuben, Bezer in the wilderness with her suburbs, and Jaza with her suburbs, Kedemoth also with her suburbs, and Mephaath with her suburbs. And out of the tribe of Gad, Ramoth and Gilead with her suburbs, and Mahanaim with her suburbs, and Heshbon with her suburbs, and Jazar with her suburbs. All right, not of particular import or interest to us. The only thing I want to say is all of Palestine, which is old Philistines that have always had issues with Israel, they are wasting their time. Unfortunately, the youths, all right, I see what's going on in the universities. One just happened in the University of Columbus. Not only is it stupid, because everyone in that school are American citizens, and the foreigners that are there have visas, which is permission to be here to go to school. So why they would be fighting themselves and protesting and singling out either Jews or Palestinians or whatever to fight in America about something that is happening thousands of miles away doesn't make any kind of sense to me. That's number one. Number two, because not everybody is Christian and not everybody knows the history and the Christian heritage of the Jews or the Jewish heritage of the Jews, I should say, they don't know that that land belongs to Israel. God gave the land to Israel from Lebanon to Ethiopia, from Ethiopia to West Africa. God gave to the children of Israel. All of that is in the Bible. I didn't just pick out nations from my head. <clears throat> but God told them expressly that if you continue to follow after other gods, I will scatter you. I will scatter you. You, you, will, you will not even be fit to be bought as slaves. <clears throat> Let me try to see if I can find this scripture because I, I, I really can't remember it. And if there's someone that can help me, please do. <clears throat> it's either in Numbers or in Deuteronomy. Where God told them, God said they will take you to the slave market. Nobody, you. and if you if you have seen the pictures of the Jewish people during the Holocaust, you will understand that that is scriptures fulfilled, <clears throat> because no one will take any of those guys to a slave market to sell, and most certainly nobody will buy them. They were all skin and bones because of what Hitler had put them through. The reason why Deuteronomy they... 28, 68. Say again. Deuteronomy 28, 68. Thank you. Let me see if that's the one I'm looking for. Yes, 68. And the Lord said, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way whereof I speak unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. So imagine what they look like. If you've seen pictures of those who were caught in the Holocaust, who would buy them as slaves? They were all skin and bones, no muscles, can't lift, can't walk, and barely can barely stand. So the word of God did come to pass about the children of Israel because of their stiff nakedness and because of apostasy and the continued pursuit of other gods other than the one true and living God. 
And so they lost their land that God had given to them. Then in 1947, November 29th, the United Nations met and decided to give them land so that all of them could return. And God did promise that they will be returned to their land. But unfortunately, it was what the United Nations carved out for them, which is present day Israel. That's what we know. That's what you youngsters know. But the Bible tells us that the land that God gave the children of Israel started from Lebanon all the way to Ethiopia and Ethiopia back then stretched into West Africa. That's why in Nigeria today, they found Jewish artifacts in Eastern Nigeria. So either by migration or by whatever, <laughs> Jewish people must have been there. So all this fight that our young Americans on campuses are fighting is totally needless. And nobody ever settled any dispute by war or by fighting. There's too much loss. You are in, you are, you are in universities, you are in higher institutions of learning, have a discourse. Talk about it and let's understand one another and let's find a way of resolving this thing other than war. And if Israel and, and Iran is at war, there's a just cause for it. That's not the ideal way. But then when you're trying to hold a conversation with someone who's not going to listen to you, we should be praying for the peace of Jerusalem. That's what the Bible commands us as Christians to do. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Peace within thy walls and plenteousness within thy palaces. That's what the Bible says. I think it's Psalms 122, if I'm not mistaken. Center, check that scripture for me. I don't want to give the wrong reference. All of that land belongs to Israel. God gave it to them. And God reserves the right to give it to whomsoever that he pleases. The Bible says in Psalms 24, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and everybody that's in it. This earth belongs to God. And he reserves the right to give it to whomsoever that he wills. It's his. Any questions on chapter 8?